Hello, there was a question raised in the Game Guru forum as to whether objects can actually float. Well, believe it or not, they can, but you have to make a small change to your entity. So what I'm going to do to demonstrate this, I've already created a small level, but I'm just going to add one more to show you how I do it. Select an entity and of course make sure that it is dynamic. Go into its properties and change the physics weight from 100, which is the default, down to about 20. That basically lowers the mass of the object and then allows it to float. I've also uh, dropped in a little shotgun and then lowered its overall damage which reduces the amount of uh, distance an entity will travel if you use a shotgun and shoot the entity. So I'm going to demonstrate it in two ways. One, the barrel that I have just created. So obviously uh, you can't really push it. What you can do is give it a bit of a kick and you notice that the barrel floats quite nicely in the water. Another thing I'd like to demonstrate is, you see I've put these in already. Ooh, got a bit of acrobatics here. There you go. And I can actually walk on top of the objects that are now floating in the water. But of course, like any good object, if you wait long enough, you'll actually see I'm actually sinking slowly into the water. So I'm gonna get out of here. With water and Game Guru first person players don't exactly mix very well. But that's how you do it. All of these objects have been set to 20 on the uh, physics weight. Uh, these guys up here as well. As you can see, they're all pretty happy to float. And that's the physics uh, setting, physics weight setting of 20. So that is how water buoyancy works in Game Guru. Obviously, if you set them a little bit more, a little bit less, then they'll sink slowly, or they're more likely to raise higher out of the water. But essentially, that is a built-in feature of the Game Guru physics system. So hopefully, this was enlightening, and that's how you make your objects float around inside Game Guru water. So I hope you enjoyed and found this video informative. Bye.